potato plant died because of the cold. There's no point in sowing uh, anymore. No point in sowing. Potatoes die because of cold. It's chilly outside. Hall and Toby there for sake. sake. <laughs> Killed him unnecessarily. Oh, we got Kitty. Nice. Come on, Kitty. Re-equipping re wood as sidearm. No, 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 no. You don't, don't need to do that. Wearing heavy fur hat. <laughs> there you go, Kitty. Uh, that is how fast she moves. It's unreal. Well, she moves a bit faster than... Maybe she, she can get like another melee weapon. What have we got in here? Wooden club? Is there not... Was it not a better melee weapon? I don't want to give her the mono sword. Because <laughs> she's frail and old. Or should we give her the mono sword? <gasps> Kitty. Today's your day. Equip the mono sword, Kitty. Whoa. <laughs> she's become a beast. Quinn, Kitty, Valentine. Where's Kitty sleeping? Just there on the dining room chair. Okay. What was her job again? She was going to do some mining for us. Yeah. Someone sits on her while she's sleeping. <laughs> okay, she's gonna have a major break risk. Because she's in serious pain and it's cold. It's four degrees. Wow. It's 28 in there. Jump in there. It's 28. <laughs> Tools research. Nice. No, still no batteries. This work attire might be good because it gives you stats for specific tasks. Like the hard hat. We had the hard hat and the chef hat and all. We jumped in. Go for that. Oh, we can't create the ander because we don't have plas steel. We have steel. We have components. But no plas steel. Damn. I was wondering why Wilkes Farm was constantly just researching and hauling. And she's on a food binge. Someone knock her out of it. <laughs> Get a uh, prioritize calming her down. Not her friend, but still. Try and calm her down. Okay. Couldn't calm her down. Silver, can you calm her down? No, she really can't do mining at all. She's so slow. By the time she gets out there, she, she'll probably die. Like, you just stick around the base. Just take mining off for you. You just stick around the base. No smithing or tailoring in there. You do some smelting. Yeah, that's your main task. Smelt for me. Uh, maybe some stone cutting as well. Uh... <laughs> No harvesting plants or constructing. Do some hauling, do some... Uh... Where'd she go? She said she's gone on a food bench. Yeah, go for it. On the food bench. <laughs> food bench isn't half bad. It's better than her breaking stuff, you know. Um, After the defenses are build, built, we need to build a medical room to heal people up. People can stay there if they want. And we also need to build a proper kitchen dining area. <laughs> And a maze of storage space for food. Maybe. This muff unit just eats our meals, so that's fine. He just takes a meal out of his pocket or he's eating it. I don't think anyone's able to train him, though, because he's not... I don't know why he has wildness. We've made him. <laughs> we just programmed a chip in his brain that could make him go wild at some point. Don't be messing around with the traps, Muff. We need to give him a name. Obvious name would be Muffy, right? <laughs> Muffy. What about that one? Muffabella. <laughs> There's Muffabella. What happened to her? Wow, she took some smoke leaf and she's just... <laughs> just knocked herself out. For flip's sake. Right, she's not getting drugs because she's got hardly any moving. And as soon as she takes drugs, she's just out of it. I might actually open up this part here and let people go through here. I'll do it this way. Lunar Maria Rock? Okay. Field the camera, sit down. Let people go through here. And I'll put doors so that they have to go through two doors or something. And then we can mine what's back here. Steel and all. So it's mainly steel. That's steel too. Oh, right, look at that. When Mechadroids die in something, it's, it's considered tinted. <laughs> Ooh, I was going to get his gear because people still don't have clothes. But I owe. I need to get these defenses up there, like they're the main priority here before we get raided again. Let's get a door. A Maria door. Built so we can get out left and right, I think. There and here. She's no longer pigging out in food, she's just sleeping outside. She's gonna have another break. Why is this guy still here? 
Get him out of the bed. What's wrong with him? This is uh, her bed. You get out of here. She wants to sleep inside in a nice bed. For freak's sake, get out of here. You didn't want to join us. <laughs> oh, now winter's begun. I thought it was already winter. It's mental. Oh, no. Winter. Work guitar is finished. We still don't have what we need. Okay, formal wear for the fedora, for the sake. Power props or vehicle props. Formal wear. Give me them fedoras. So I can learn the master everything in my site. We'll build two doors here. And then they can go through and grab what they need. I'm just curious to see if we end up finding another <laughs> cave system or something by doing this. Kitty's gonna have a major break. Why? Because of this environment. There's a decent bar. Led by tech nerd? No! Led by a tech nerd. No way. Where is our... Okay. Let's have Winkles for him to... Leader speech? Performed recently? Oh, it's gonna be terrible. Okay. Takes place at the wooden table. I wanted him to do it in this room because it's actually good quality. It's spacious. It's clean. It's expensive because there's a expensive research table in it. But he's gonna do it here in this dump. Okay, Stu definitely has to go hunting or someone has to go hunting. Maybe Silver can go hunting. Yeah, I'll send Silver hunting. And then the other guy can build while he's gone. They're all eating the insect jelly. No, use your battery, Silver, Stu. Use your battery. Ooh, right through the brain. Good, 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 good. Shot of head. <laughs> Shot his head right off, got his body too. Collateral. Maybe I shouldn't have told him to build the wall too thick right at the start. Just get the first layer in and then you expand afterwards, you know? But if he gets this, these parts done, that'll be decent. Anima pod sprite? Oh, I don't know what that is. Ready to harvest? Yeah, harvest it. Where's uh, Stu? Come on, Stu. Harvest this. I don't know what it is. Show me what it is, Stu, by harvesting it. Oh, there's so many dead animals about that, you know, we could have got them. Deconstruct all of this, because it, it is ours to do with what we please. <laughs> and so we'll actually make it back before he... He's got 22% battery, 21. Oh, formal wear finished. Lovely, and nothing again that <laughs> we'd want. Again, medieval props, there's grilling, carvings. Great though, I guess grilling? Grill me up uh, some batteries next time, will you? Oh, war merchant. Thank goodness. What has he got there? What are those? Danopithecus? Oh, they are? They're like big, massive gorillas. So now that here, they're here, maybe we can annoy a bigger animal herd and get them to kill them for us. So we can have food. Muffalos. Where are the muffalos at? Here are the muffalos. Um. Who's a fast runner? Stu? How fast are you? Come here. Shoot this muffalo real quick. Uh, yeah, let Silver get home first then shoot the muffalo. Oh, he's got a shield belt on for some reason. Drop the shield belt, then keep going. Let someone else pick it up. Haul that in. Okay. What? <laughs> a large ambrosia sprite happened nearby. You heard these large sprites might be defended by a group? Ambrosia addicted animals? What the hell's that from? Go explore. <laughs> you want me to go and see what the what druggy animals are over there? Might be. Ah, but they're animals, they'll go they'll go nuts on me. We'll see. First I want Stu to have a wee pop up one of these muffalos. Oh. Wait until it revenges. There's like a ten percent chance, twenty percent chance that it revenges. It's not doing that. Okay. Shoot this one then? Why is it not coming after me? There we go. Run. There we go. <laughs> Get him. Where did the other muffalo go? It's like, <laughs> it's blood trail ends here. Oh, did it proper? Oh, no, it's here. It's, it's got five hours. Finish up that wall piece. Uh, that wall piece and that one. And then the defenses are more or less there. Okay, it's time to bed the war merchant of the Berthold clan. What have we got? If they do have the Dinopithecus, 1700 for them. They sell them all the stuff that aren't uh, poor hatchets, steel, 
steel hatchet normals okay steel cleaver purge bad masterwork pickaxe for 41 catch yourself on recurve bow i think we're more in out of the bow phase than into the gun phase now crossbow can go when we're fighting metal robots bolt action rifles okay i think these are uh tattered tattered that's for the summer <laughs> chef's hat okay still oh have they got anything quiver i might buy clothes no because I'm, I'm i'm gonna get i'm gonna get the stuff to make clothes i should be fine i should be fine selling this insect jelly oops sake, stop eating this stop eating the insect jelly nothing from them really let's take their money oh another case of an owl attacking the hedgehog and then dying itself is this ambrosia no just some mushrooms here so the defenses are there this doesn't look like a wall, but <laughs> hit all oh, this part here. They'll come in here and just go through. They'll hit a few traps, but not all of them. Okay. Only Frank on the case. Come on, Frank. Where are you? Prioritize this. That one. And then that one. Go. There we go. There's our defenses. Temporary. Let's put a roof. Uh, let's build a roof over this area. Just so they can't see the traps. I think that's how it works. I can't see the traps. And grilling is done. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Geothermal. Power. Would be big. Geothermal power. Do we have a lot of geothermal vents though? I don't think they're very close to the base. It's not necessary. Rheumatomics. Rheumatomics machining table. Research bench. Might be good. We'll go for it. Rheumatomics. Here we come. Oh, I should come back on one more day, apparently. We got the goodwill already, so I don't know if... Or maybe it get more goodwill? Don't know, we'll have to see. Kitty's on a major break risk again. I think it might be because she was outside and she gets cold, or it's terrible looking outside. She slept in the cold? How are you sleeping in the cold? It's roasting in here. Eh? A silver spoon. Ooh, silver! Ooh! The shooting's only on six. What? How does... <laughs> they got the plague? Wait, they don't have the plague? It's a random event to give animals the plague, but because Muffabella is a robot, she can't get the plague. <laughs> she can't spread it to any other animals because we don't have them. Kitty's gonna fully break soon. She's just feeling terrible. <laughs> just feeling terrible. Is a body modder feeling frustrated? Maybe we can give her something, like a wee p p peg leg or something. She already walks slow as it is, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. As long as she can just sit in the chair and smelt slags for us. She's got hypothermia. Oh no, we don't have basic prosthetics. Damn. I can just move, remove her eye and then put a eye patch over it or something. She'll love that. I guess that's mostly how I survived three winters. <laughs> I just keep on hunting until the animals are dead. <laughs> just getting lots of meat meals. Pure protein. I don't think we need rocks anymore so I can put her back to mining. But I, I believe she's going to go into the caves behind the base and get wrecked. Well, we'll see how it goes, shall we? Wow. Here's a blizzard. <laughs> Extreme snowfall. Strong winds. Reduce accuracy of ranged weapons and slows people down. Thank you. It's also minus 10 outside and Frank's naked. Let's <laughs> say Frank with some clothes on. Do we, oh, do we have enough to make, to do this now? Four light leather? We've been getting loads of leather. Pigskin? There's not loads of pigskin. Do you not make a pigskin coat for someone? I don't think silver will get hurt in the snow. It'll ruin his accuracy when he's trying to shoot. I got a donkey. Rheumatomics done. <laughs> and again. And again. Oh wait, machining. It gets us the machining table. <gasps> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Machining. That's what we need. Thank you. We ain't good sperm. So my silver shot the donkey in a blizzard with six and shooting. Oh yeah, I forgot about rearming the traps. <laughs> I would do that. There we go. Just to add to the defenses. Some little barricades they have to jump over. Um, maybe I should 
build like a barricade all the way around here so they can't stand behind this. But we're not, it's not a kill box, if you know what I mean. I just want them to get hurt before they get to us. And then we'll defend the way we do at the moment. That's going to be Kitty's bed there. That's an awful wooden bed, Jesus Christ. Okay, this is going to be Kitty's bed. Kitty, there we go. This can be Frank's bed. Because he's the next best. Oh, Kitty. It's really good to be out in the snow like this. You're going to use this telescope? That's pretty cool. <laughs> Jesus, Stu. Alright, drop drop your hunting down, Silver. It's it, He's trying to get the boars in the corner of the map and he's walking this fast. If we get raided, well, they'll walk slow too. Maybe it's okay. Frank's been deconstructing this the whole time. Is he going to have a minor break now? No, Frank's still not having a minor break. Why is he feeling so good? He had a fine meal. And there's hardly any animals in the colony. Because <laughs> he hates animals. Oh! Ash is back. Welcome back, Ash. What did they do to you? Anything? Rare behemoth. Now, that's the thing I might shoot at if uh, there were colonists here. But you can't really see the health of its body parts, can you? Oh. No. It's probably mental. It's probably mental. And Ash gets right back to it. Mine in the same steel you've left off with. This is right pinky and like 10% of his manipulation has gone. She's got serious hypothermia. Because she's nude mining in the tunnels. Eh! Back to your... Back to your stone cutting. Or smelting, whatever you do. Back inside. Kitty, why did you come outside? I'm gonna set like a zone inside here, just restrict demons to it because they, <laughs> they're just not. Then they can clean and haul and like do stuff inside. Okay, Kitty in area one and you in area one. Kids just, just can't handle it. You just can't handle being outside. Jesus, I think she might die outside. <laughs> She's so slow and she went all the way over there to grab something just to do some hauling. Okay, let's see if we can get this kitchen slash dining room expanded. Yep, yeah, down she goes. Down she goes. Ash is mining it here, so... Rescue her. Haul in that mono sword. That meal. Oh my goodness. Oh, machining is finally done. Oh, we go into gunsmithing. Or simple prosthetics. Simple prosthetics might be good. We do have basic prosthetics, I guess. Gunsmithing, though. We have some guns. I don't think we need a lot just yet. Prosthetics might be good. We'll go for that. Just in case, because we can replace some people's arms and all now. People are missing stuff. Machining table. I'm glad I've got the components to do that. Some wood there for that chair. There we go. Machining table. Shred. Look at all the shredding. Okay, shred peacekeeper. Shield belt. Helmets. Tool belt. I'm gonna pack range shield belt. It needs plasteel though. Oh, there's the <laughs> small pack of ammunition and components that controlled a shoulder mounted turret. Oh my god. Don't like colonist androids to be shredded. I'd like to bury them, even though their components could be reused. <laughs> I wanna bury my, my brethren. And then if we get any mecha droids, don't shred them as a colonist. That'd be nice. Oh, he's doing it. He's shredding the mechanoids. That was far. Look at that. Oh. Advanced component. Mechanoid power cell. Charged. Excellent. Excellent. Then we got this. Mechanoid parts. I think I'm going to allow colonist corpses for the dead android right now because this guy's counting as part of our colonist still. We need him out of that stockpile. Eh? How dare you? Someone tried to... Frank tried to convert Winkle Sperm to his religion. No, no, no. If he converts him, that might be it for <laughs> certainty from 100% to 100%. That's it. We need to have a proper talk here. Mad squirrel. Oh no, he's outside. Stu, back inside real quick. Back inside there, Frank, real quick. There's a mad uh, squirrel coming. Don't want it to rip you up, you know. I'm surprised this potato plant has survived for so long. <laughs> 
Against all the odds, the one potato, it survives. Okay, the squirrel's dead. <laughs> it went right through the trap and got... Shoot! Now I've got these barricades, so hopefully they uh, have to jump them as they go. And they can come in. Just try and slow them down a little bit and then we'll be waiting inside where it's nice and warm. Wanderer joins? What? A worshipped android named Peter has arrived and wants to join the colony. He's willing to contribute, but not leave voluntarily, claiming to have nowhere else to go. You can choose to turn him down and send him away, however your colonists will be disturbed sending someone away in need. Okay. Peter! It's Peter, everybody! <laughs> was he... Was he good? He's simple-minded. He doesn't do animals cooking or plant work. Okay. He's really good at social. He could be our next warden. And he could do a bit of art, maybe? Build him a little art uh, table. Because that's what people keep saying the environment's ugly. I mean, I disagree. But to each their own. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, we might need more par. Is there... Ooh, major break risk. Okay. Kind of makes Kitty a bit useless because she does mining, but she can't because she has really slow. Um, now, she used to do wardening, but she can't because we've got a better warden now. Peter, the warden. And he came with a simple meal. Nice. Oh, do we get... We got enough plasteel to start making the android, the new one. Oh, from shredding. Can we smelt... Smelt the apparel. Smelt the apparel that is awful to poor. Any hit points? Okay. We'll do that forever. Okay, and then we'll smelt the apparel 0 to 51. I think it becomes tainted after that. Wow, we got 10 advanced components from smelting all them. Jeez. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Stu's put on the chef hat already. We're not Stu, Peter. <laughs> Getting them mixed up. Oops, sick. Stu used to wear that. And he decided, no, I don't want to wear that anymore. Oh, I've been making chem fuel from wood, so yeah, I'm building this bigger chem fuel generator. So hopefully I've got enough wood to keep making chem fuel. Rat meat rotted away. Unfortunate. I'm so close on a bunch of different types of leathers to make them, them coats now, but I'm still so far. He said he doesn't do animals, Peter, but he's away hunting. <laughs> Isn't the animals, but he does do a bit of hunting. Tainted, that's the word I was looking for. No, not tainted. When it's like not good to wear anymore. I was calling it ragged. I don't think that's the word. <laughs> I think I can just keep expanding this. This is like the workshop. And we'll just have people in here working. We'll have bots in here sleeping at the same time. It'll be great. <laughs> Ooh, is this compact machinery we struck? Lovely. Oh my god, ladies, Kitty and Ursa are having a social fight, what happened? Hey Kitty, how are you? Ursa used her right fist to punch Kitty, slashing her left arm. <laughs> oh my god. She just said hello to her and then... Oh, hey Kitty, I'm thinking of getting an elderly guinea pig for you to spar with. Hope it doesn't hurt you too much. Oh my god. Ah, uh, Kitty goes down. Okay. <laughs> Not my problem. Oh! Another colonist. Nice. He does animals. Nice. Elton. Okay, so I've renamed Elton to Dogbone. He's gonna be hunting animals. Training animals too. And I've renamed... <laughs> I forget his last... I forget what he used to be called. Oh, Peter. I've renamed Peter to God Droid. It was apparently it didn't apparently was a worshipped android. He's one of the first androids. First few androids to even land, but he's 57. Like his number, I think their numbers are randomized, but Dogbone is number one. <laughs> he's only a mechanical colonist. He was a mechanical colonist. God droid, and then he became a mechanical citizen, he was, even better. Then he became a worshipped android, that's why his social is so high. Oh my lord. What? We can make the Statue of Knowledge in here, can we? Actually make the Statue of Knowledge? I turn it clear everything. I don't want them like making it out of something like plasteel or something. <laughs> stone blocks is fine. Yeah, do it out of whatever stone block you want. And then textiles. No. And who's the worker? Godroid. 
God droid's gonna work on it. Statue of knowledge. Do it once. What's a terror sculpture? Jesus. It's for slaves apparently. Okay, give me the statue of knowledge and then three other small sculptures. Thank you, God droid. Oh my god, Kitty's down and no one's <laughs> even bothering to help her. No one's res rescuing her. Oops, sick. Rescue Kitty real quick. God droid has begun construction with the statue of knowledge. I'm gonna gain so much knowledge from this. It'll be unreal. Oh my god, these birds have just been dying in, <laughs> in our traps to keep coming through, I guess, for the food. And they just keep perishing. No. The crows of Odin. Oh. From the Zokan Kin League? A couple of visitors? Hey, boys. Welcome to my humble abode. We've got a lot of plaid still now. We could probably make another animal unit. And now we've got someone who's good at animals. They could train them. Okay, our two guests depart in 24 hours. So is there something we can get them to build before they leave? Hmm. Ooh, rare thrombos as well. Same time as our visitors. We got messed up last time fighting these. <laughs> well, we lured them into the anime. Maybe it's a good time. We lured them into the visitors we had at the time. We've got these visitors, but I don't think... They've got bows. They're not going to be able to take down thrombos. No chance. No chance. We do have this trap set up. So if they come near the base, we could probably pop out, shoot them, and then they'll come through here. Get pegged a lot. Okay, God Droid. God Droid is the social guy, I think. Why does everyone hate him? Winkles Firm's his rival. Physically unsightly, annoying voice. Because he's ugly, he's got an annoying voice. Stu, why does Stu hate him? The guy was previously our enemy? Was he? Oh my god. <laughs> Did you see that? Before the menu, trade menu popped up. Oh, he couldn't uh, land, so he just freaking <laughs> landed right in our field again. Oh my, here's a rum suit from the faction's expanded pirates. Removing the suit causes the liquid to evaporate. It can be worn with an undersuit. Okay. Lowers movement speed. High efficiency filter. Once every 10 days. Maybe we could buy that and put that on Kitty and she could, that could be her. She's the rum. <laughs> the rum lady. Yeah. Give me that. You can uh, have our longbow in return. This poor cloth t-shirt. And some insect jelly. Where's the rum suit? Can I come out and put that on? And then a robot trader it says. Okay, god droid. Trade with the robot trader. This is probably the guy for us. He walks right into the trap to trade with him. Oh my god, base units. Hauler base unit. Oh... The Persona Core 10,000. What does it say? Fire Trader difficulty. Negotiation bonus. Minus 18%, plus 18%. They've got components, they've got plaz steel. I would like this hauler base unit, maybe a couple of them to just haul about. One hauler base unit, what can I give them? Just all this gold? I don't really want the gold. Uh, mechanoid parts. Mechanoid parts, plates for repairing or building. Mechanoids or mecha droids. I don't think I'll be messing with them. So give them all of that. Advanced component. Keep the rest of it. And we could probably get another hauler or or components. We'll get another hauler. Two haulers. Except get them installed somewhere. Install one there. Tattered apparel. Take it off. Our asthma needs treatment. I'll put on that uh, rum suit, kitty, and you'll be fine. Which way is she going? Through the traps? No. <laughs> Do not go through the traps. Cool, install another hauler base unit there. Excellent. What are you doing, Kitty? Seriously? Jester's gently at Muffabella. Shh, Muff unit. Shush. <laughs> shush, shush, Muff unit. Here we go, I've got some mushrooms for you. You like mushrooms? Makes calming noises towards Muffabella. <laughs> Don't go through the spike traps. Don't do it. Training field. Oh my god, the statue of knowledge has been... Is that a chicken? <laughs> Is that the statue of knowledge? This chicken? Maybe put it in here for now. 
Statue of Knowledge. It's a chicken of knowledge. Activate. Oh, look at it go. Yes, little tiny holder bot, go. Make our dreams come true. 62% expected quality. While they're all here, might as well. Begin the leader speech at the Statue of Knowledge. Here we go. Bring it in, Kitty. Get the rum seat in here. Come on. There's someone not here. There's two people not here. They can't make it. I guess we're off for thoughts on needs for Smiths. Smiths? Like a toy store? What are you trying to thoughts? Meaning of honesty. Betrayal of a solitary sardine. Moving to the left. Image contrasts plenty with bloodshed. Usually for this kind of work. At the edge of the image are thousands of robbers. Okay. Avoiding thoughts of avoiding soldiers. I mean... Okay, almost everyone's here. There's an encouraging leader speech. Wow. Impact. I don't know how he, he does so good with leader speeches because he's... <laughs> he doesn't do social. <laughs> he can't do social. <laughs> awesome. 